I want to talk about something that I know there's been a little buzz around Springfield about recently, and that was the proposal by three economists, Thomas Hassel, Rick Mattoon, Thomas Wallstrom, and they calculated that a property tax equal to 1%, 1% of a home's value could plug the state pension gap in 10 years. This is an, I, I, I don't know the exact word to say that's greater than horrific, horrible, stupid. This would cause an immediate 15% in property values. At today's mortgage rates, a house currently valued at $240,000 would need a $37,000 drop in value to keep the same monthly payment with a 1% increase in property taxes. $37,000 drop. The economists actually state that prices would go down quickly. They admit that real estate prices would go down quickly, real estate values. And they actually reason and state that people considering moving to Illinois would find that the higher taxes would be offset by the increase in home affordability thanks to lower prices. The difference is, is when you buy an expensive house and you make a payment, you're building equity. You're not building equity when you pay a property tax bill. Secondly, they actually state that current homeowners would not be able to avoid the new tax by selling their homes because the prices would go down so quick. It's actually stated in the article. For some people, the home is their largest savings account. This would take some or all of that equity. In many cases, it would put some Illinois citizens upside down on their property. For commercial properties, it would greatly disincentivize investment, especially for manufacturing and businesses that have a large real estate footprint. In short, this plan would cause a second major real estate crash, and it would likely cause a significant recession in Illinois. Billions in equity would be wiped out. No billions in equity would be stolen from Illinois homeowners. Real estate property taxes are an extremely regressive form of taxation. It's unfair to the poor, it's unfair to seniors, it's unfair to the unemployed. I've heard some bad economic ideas over the past three years, but this may top them all. I am embarrassed to say that these three economists are all employed by the government at the Chicago Fed. Thank you, Madam Speaker.